Thursday the 30th of May 2024. First reading. Reading from the first book of Peter. You are newborn, and, like babies, you should be hungry for nothing but milk, the spiritual honesty which will help you to grow up to salvation, now that you have tasted the goodness of the Lord. He is the living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God and precious to him. Set yourselves close to him so that you too, the holy priesthood that offers the spiritual sacrifices which Jesus Christ has made acceptable to God, may be living stones making a spiritual house. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a people set apart to sing the praises of God who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people at all and now you are the people of God. Once you were outside the mercy and now you have been given mercy. I urge you, my dear people, while you are visitors and pilgrims to keep yourselves free from the selfish passions that attack the soul. Always behave honorably among pagans so that they can see your good works for themselves and, when the day of reckoning comes, give thanks to God for the things which now make them denounce you as criminals. Responsorial Psalm Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Mark As Jesus left Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, Bartimaeus, that is, the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting at the side of the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and to say, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. And many of them scolded him and told him to keep quiet, but he only shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man. Courage, they said, Get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he jumped up and went to Jesus. Then Jesus spoke, What do you want me to do for you? Rabuni, the blind man, said to him, Master, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has saved you. And immediately his sight returned and he followed him along the road. Gospel of the Lord.